How's it going? This is RaySpace, and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox, Synchrobol Space Program 1.12, where I'm testing a variant of a rocket that I have used many, many times before, and that is the Kasei rocket. Uh, recently, in the Project Starlight videos, I introduced this variant, that is the Kasei 2, uh, but that was not formalized in any way. I was using it basically out of desperation because I need a rocket that can carry a little bit more than my old Kasei rocket. For those who aren't familiar with it, the Kasei rocket is a hydrogen oxygen rocket, so Hydrolox, uh, and it uses fairly large engines of the scale of the RS-68 on the Delta IV rocket, uh, so we're talking about 4,000 kilonewtons. That's larger than any hydrogen oxygen engine in operation right now, but short of the F1 or something like that, or RD270 level of thrust. Uh, so it's manageable, but it's large. There they are large engines. And in the original Kasei rocket, we had five engines on the first stage and one on the second stage. In this case, we have nine engines on the first stage and two on the second stage, though the two on the second stage have had to be truncated a little bit. The original huge vacuum nozzle had to be shortened to fit them, and so they don't get the same efficiency that the upper stage on the original Kasei rocket did. It got 456 seconds of specific impulse, that was its efficiency, and in this case we get 450 so a little bit less than that. So that's one downside, but the goal here is to allow me to launch the pieces of our fast interplanetary ships and eventually our interstellar ships quicker. I don't intend to use launchers that use like fusion or stuff like that because I feel like it's sort of a waste. Um, fusion is very hard to do and any implementation of fusion is probably way more expensive than rocket engines uh, so it's it's really tough to say how that would all work out but for now I'm content with just launching it with chemical engines since we don't really have to pay for it in here anyway so it's fine um, it does take some assembly so some assembly would be required I could launch things with my monument rocket which has a capacity to lower a orbit of 3,000 tons with that any of these ships could be launched at one go but that's also not exactly fun so anyway I'm trying to get this Kasei 2 uh, operational and we need to see what its capacity actually is I used it haphazardly in the project starlight videos uh, but now I want to use it more vigorously and rigorously. Uh, so, what can it carry? Well, I'm looking at this straight stack version without any boosters as carrying 170 tons. And we're going to use a, a KOS script in order to control it. So, run Kasei 2 like that. Kasei. And let's see how it goes. You can see we have 9,308 meters per second, so shading a little bit low. And we have a little bit less than 2,500 tons on the pad. So we'll call it 2,500 tons. It's actually lighter than SLS, but that's because SLS has those big solid boosters. The core of SLS is not this big. So what I did was, it looks a lot like the Kasei rocket because it's the same model and all I did was I scaled up the tanks and the interstage and all that business from 8.4 meters, which is the same as SLS, to 10 meters, which is the same as Saturn V. Saturn V was actually 10.1. So we are now at Saturn V levels of diameter, but less than the Saturn V level of mass because this hydrogen and oxygen is less dense and 2,500 tons is less than the 3,000 ton liftoff mass that Saturn V had. So it can work off of the Saturn V pads is basically the idea. Our thrust is not that much... Um, yeah, the thrust of the Saturn V would have been more than this. Uh, I do have the fairing that is meant for reusability on here. Uh, for those familiar with the Kasei rocket, you might recall that I previously fitted uh, heat tiles and wings on the first stage so that I could fly back 
well, fly forward to Bermuda, no, not Bermuda, Bahamas, uh, in order to land. And so it is potentially reusable in that way. And that's what the fairing arrangement here is for. The fairings actually retract and then close up. So you'll see that happen when we have staging. And that way, the first stage becomes a flight unit, so it has a proper nose while it frees the second stage to continue on its business. I'll consider the second stage reusability potentially. Um, we do have plenty of thrust weight ratio with it to add some stuff. Right now we're at 1.32 there. So if we want to add mass and reduce our payload capacity in order to make it reusable, that's possible. But for the moment I think I'm maximizing payload to orbit and not too much caring about the reusability with this rocket. I had the fairing already done, so I decided to go ahead and use it. So things are basically just scaled up Kasei rocket parts, uh, with then more engines fitted on each stage. Okay, so here's the fairing retraction. It sort of has a standby position like that, separates. And then once the second stage is clear, it closes up. Of course, right now we don't have the wings, landing gear, and all that business on it. Oh, so it's not going fast enough to get to the Bahamas. For that, we need the boosters, and we'll talk about the boosters after I do this test. So, core alone, the original Kasei rocket, the Kasei 1, if you will, uh, was able to do 95 tons to orbit, potentially, potentially a little bit more than that. So we're looking at 170, which is nearly double. So these are new engines. Uh, I have dubbed them the ED9VX, V for vacuum, X. Still a respectable amount of ISP at 450. Tremendous amounts of power at 4,200 kilonewtons, relatively low burn time for a hydrolock stage, and that's because we are actually optimizing for low Earth orbit in this case. I just realized we don't really have clouds, do we? I need to check on that. What has happened to my clouds? Anyway, let's set that aside for now. I have made orbit here. We have made orbit here. And we have 150 meters per second left. And we have 170 tons of payload. So that works. I don't think we can push it any more than that. So let me try with boosters. All right, so for the boosters, we needed larger boosters than we had before with the Sajita boosters on the Kasei-1 and so I decided to create sort of a backstory for the Kasei rocket. The idea is that Japan currently has the H3 rocket uh, which it uses with LE9 engines, generally two or three of them, well it, it can fit two or three of them uh, and the idea is that they would eventually replace those two or three LE9 engines with a single ED9 engine, which is much more powerful, and then develop that further. And, you know, with this sort of core, it's sort of similar to the Delta IV, and then they would make a heavy version with multiple liquid cores instead of currently what they do is they add solid rocket motors to it. And then, once they have that variant, they would upscale to the Kasei rocket and then have five at first and then nine on the Kasei 2. And so it's development of the Japanese Space Agency is the intention. The word Kasei was always like that. And the word Kasei means Mars in Japanese. So that was always the intention there. But previously I've been using Mephalox Sajita boosters of my own design. These parts are actually from the Japanese launcher pack. It's a very old mod uh, and whether it works properly or not is a matter of debate. The shaders are a little bit weird. I'll probably make my own tanks eventually, but they're the only part here. Well, I've got some procedural parts, but uh, they're the only major part here that I did make myself. Uh, so we have these boosters and one quirk of them is that if I fill them up completely, you can see there's some available volume here. If I fill them up completely, they actually last longer than the core, so I had to underfuel them, so that's not exactly great. I'm still trying to get 220 tons to orbit, 
but we're looking at 9224 meters per second now we ended up with 150 extra on the previous launch so it's possible we had 9300 there and we ended up with 150 extra but will this work out right uh well let's see let's see how it goes with four boosters like this sort of a coloration mismatch but we'll set that aside for now like i said i'll just make a different version of those tanks later on i just wanted to try this out maybe i'll have to make them bigger after all well but then if i make them bigger then we overstrip the time of the core so smaller i don't know uh maybe we will need to put multiple engines on each one instead of just having one have two that's quite overdoing it though but anyway let's see so all right off we go a little bit lopsided though so the gore is only going to last about eight seconds longer than the boosters right now okay booster set Okay, fairings. Oh, we have an explosion. Um, somehow lost an engine there. Don't know what happened. But that's not going to work out very well. Alright, let's try this again. I just shifted the engines a little bit in the hope that the separation won't take them out. I did make them smaller so that they wouldn't be at risk and on the core alone launch that there was no problem but it seems like we had a problem here this time. So let's see. With Kerbal there's never any guarantees. And off it goes. Alright, booster set. Oh, we have a last minute roll here I should just get rid of. Okay, we're clear this time. Alright, well, can we make orbit with the 220 tons? Let's find out. For now, we have enough Delta V. Alright, we do make orbit with the 220 tons. 87 meters per second left a bit tight but still workable and yep 220 tons so that is the launcher's capacity with the four boosters as we have them right now so that'll be all right and i'll sort out the parts that i want to use for constructing these large interplanetary vessels that i have planned using the far future technologies engines and the KSP interstellar engines and we'll see what I can do with them to make them fancy. I might have to make some special parts of my own too along the way. But anyway this has been a test of the Kasei 2 rocket and with that I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.